Most people top in the McCain campaign now believe New Mexico and Iowa are gone, that Barack Obama will win New Mexico and Iowa. They are now off the dream list of the McCain campaign. More interestingly, most top people inside the McCain campaign now think Colorado is gone, that that is now beyond their reach. Colorado, a red state twice for George W. Bush, most likely will go Obama, they think, at the top of the McCain campaign. Hi, it's Josh Marshall from TPM Media. It's Tuesday, October 21st, 2008. 14 days before Election Day. That was CNN's John King in what turned out to be a very controversial report yesterday afternoon saying that the top advisors in the McCain campaign have decided that Colorado and New Mexico, two states that George W. Bush won in 2004, are basically lost to the McCain campaign. And what they're going to try to do is go into Democrats' territory and take Pennsylvania. I've been saying for months that even though the Electoral College elects the president, that it's really the national horse race polls that you should be looking at for the trends. But now, this close into an election, two weeks out, is when the Electoral College really starts to come into focus. So let's take a moment to look at the big picture and see how the Electoral College map is looking. Now the key to understanding the Electoral map is that Barack Obama appears to have locked down all the states that John Kerry won in 2004, and that's 252 electoral votes, all the blue states from 2004. In addition, Obama also appears to have locked down Iowa, a state that George Bush won in 2004, but Al Gore won in 2000. That's another seven electoral votes, bumping Obama's number up to 259. That leaves Obama just 11 electoral votes short of the 270 he needs to win the presidency. So where is the battle taking place? It's taking place in eight other states where Obama is either tied or just ahead of John McCain. And those eight states total 105 more electoral votes. Now let's look here at the TPM Election Central poll tracker map and we can see where those states are. Let's go through them. Nevada, New Mexico, Colorado, Virginia, North Carolina, Ohio, Florida, and Missouri. If John King's report is correct and the McCain campaign is giving up on Colorado and New Mexico, well, that's another 14 electoral votes bringing Barack Obama to 273, and it's over. He wins the presidency. That's why, if King's report is correct, the McCain campaign has to go into the blue states and raid one of them to get some more electoral votes to keep Obama from getting past the finish line. And King says what they're looking at, the state they're looking at, is Pennsylvania. Now, this is a key swing state from the 2000 and 2004 races, but both times the Democrats won it. Probably key for McCain, it also has big parts of Pennsylvania. People think a lot in terms of Philadelphia, the East Coast part of the state, but there's lots of parts of Pennsylvania that are much more similar to Ohio and the Upper South. But here's the problem. Look at this trend line estimate for the polls in the state of Pennsylvania. These are from pollster.com, put together by Professor Charles Franklin. You see here, Barack Obama doesn't just have a solid lead, he's actually running away with it over the last few weeks. His lead is up to 15 points in the state of Pennsylvania. How John McCain is going to come back in that state in two weeks is very hard to figure. Now, it's important for us to point out that the McCain campaign is pushing back hard against King's report. They're saying it's not true that they've written off Colorado, not true that they've written off New Mexico and Iowa. But again, step back and you look at that big picture. Barack Obama is sitting on a solid 259 electoral votes. That's only 11 short of what he needs to win. All the battle is in the red states. It's in these eight red states totaling 105 electoral votes. So Barack Obama, he can pick and choose. He can win a bunch of different combinations. He can win one or two of these eight states. In a couple cases, he can just win one of those eight states to win. What McCain has to do is run the table. He needs to win in every state where he's either behind or tied with Barack Obama, and it's a really tall order. If you want to look at more of these polls yourself, go to talkingpointsmemo.com and click on TPM Election Central at the top of the page. That'll take you to our TPM Election Central poll tracker map where you can look at the latest polls interactively. I'm Josh Marshall from TPM Media, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.